<laughs> oh man. All right, welcome back to another School Principal Reacts. My name is Brandon, and I am a school principal from the U.S. state of Georgia. We're doing another uh, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide episode today. I continue to love this show. I plan on going all the way through the series, so hope you're enjoying it right along with me. This one is called Daydreaming. Of course, I have not seen it before, know nothing about it. Uh, daydreaming uh, is certainly part of school. I remember trying not to do that, but doing that some in class when I was supposed to be paying attention. So I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, let's see what happens here together. And just a reminder, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. Let's go. Bullying. Teacher, where's the teacher? Okay. Okay, okay, all right. So I just realized, yeah, this is probably a daydream because I've never seen Crabgrass, Susie, as she's as her real name is. I've never seen her get bullied, but so I thought, oh, that's a little interesting. And there's no teacher. All of a sudden, Ned is standing up to all of them. I'm like, okay, so this must be a daydream per the title of the episode. But let's see where this goes here. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not real. Okay, there we go. Great, though. <laughs> okay. You gotta use the force. Yeah. My hero. He rose. How do you know? Daydream. <laughs> Mr. Big Big. Stop. Okay, wow. Uh, so he's daydreaming all of that. And students do tend to do that. I remember being in school and, you know, at a boring moment or when, you know, nothing's happening with you in particular, or maybe the teacher's working with someone else. You start to daydream. Now, this is a little excessive, but still pretty funny. And he uses the force to get Susie's backpack back. And then he's uh, interrupted here by Mr. Sweeney, who's right in front of him. So um, I think most people have at some point in their school career had some sort of experience like that. Maybe not that type of daydream, but a daydream of some type. Daydreaming. Or you can kiss your grade goodbye. Mm. <laughs> Loser. She, that blonde girl, I don't even know her name. She's pretty harsh. They don't know what he was daydreaming about, of course. Probably a good thing. <laughs> Embarrassing. Daydreaming. We've all heard it from our teachers. Stop daydreaming and pay attention. But if you're a daydreamer like me, learn from my mistake. <laughs> too obvious. You're sure to get busted. Yeah, so uh, I can see that there's going to be a lot of this in, in this episode because Lisa likes Cookie and Moe's likes um, uh, the basketball guy. I forget his name. Um, and everybody kind of likes somebody in this episode. And Loomer likes Moe's and it just goes on and on. So I suspect there'll be a lot of this in this episode. And teachers hate the staring out the window daydream. Way too obvious. Eyes front. Yeah, you can't, you can't quite do that with the whacking her book like that. That's probably a little too far. Uh, would that get him in big trouble? Probably not, because it's not like he hit her. That would be very, very different. But yeah, students staring out the window daydream, like the little Ned's tip here. It's not that they hate that in particular, but if you're a teacher and you're teaching and the student is just staring out, you're going to want to redirect them in some way. I would not do it like he did it. I would maybe call their name. If the student is asleep or, or daydreaming, you could maybe uh, just gently tap on the desk with your fingers. 
You want to avoid touching the student in order to get their attention. And you certainly whacking the desk or her book with this stick is uh, it's too far. I was going to say it's probably too far. It's too far. That's a little too much, but there's nothing wrong with uh, getting their attention somehow because they need to learn if you're teaching, they need to be involved in what you're saying. And it looks like the students are doing some kind of maybe interactive project here. So she needs to be participating in that somehow. Miss Crabgrass. Try your best to stare at an educational item in the front of the class. <laughs> that way you can cover yourself. You get oh, man. I always say that the Ned's tips themselves are usually really, really good. Yeah. So if you're a teacher and you see a student and they're daydreaming, but they're looking at the board or they are looking at what he calls it an educational classroom item, it might seem to the teacher like you're thinking about that and paying attention. And so you might fool the teacher into thinking that you're engaged and you're really not. In the teaching world, we talk about engagement and what does that mean and how does that look? And teachers know, the ones that know about that, know that it's very possible to be very engaged, but be looking like coconut head here. Uh, because true engagement, a lot of it happens, you know, in the inside of your brain, you know, what you're thinking and what you're focusing on and that high level, higher order reasoning that we all try to get students to to do. But here you, you he might be focused or he might just be daydreaming. Now, to me, this little pose, particularly with the chin on the hand, makes it look like he's more daydreaming. So you'd have to uh, make it a little more nuanced to fool most teachers. But, yeah, this. This could work. To Still daydreaming, Mr. Coconut Head. And they call him Coconut Head. A lot of the characters in this show, like Cookie, his real name is Simon. Coconut Head, I have not heard a real name from him. And the teacher even calls him Coconut Head. Uh, that would be kind of problematic. I was just thinking about how he made this class so sciencey. Sciencey. Oh. Uh, yes. Thank you. Sciency. Good job. Whoa! Not so fast. Since most of you wasted my class time daydreaming, I can waste some of your lunch time with a science word puzzler. No, you Woo! can't. No, you can't. And I've talked about this on a couple of other videos about the whole, you know, the bell doesn't dismiss you, I dismiss you. As a teacher, you really can't get away with that at most schools because those students have somewhere else to be. Like if I'm the principal and I get a call from a parent and it seems that a teacher has caused a student not to be able to get their lunch because they held them over like this, that's going to be a problem. You, you just can't do that. Now, can you have them wait a few extra seconds so you can finish the thought or finish whatever it is you're doing for maybe you know 30 seconds, maybe? Uh, but you really can't just stop them from leaving indefinitely like that. You just can't. But it's pizza day. And you can all go get your pizza as soon as somebody in this class tells me why these words are together. Water, wolf, and trapdoor. Huh. They're together because you wrote them that way. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, and he mentions pizza day. Um... Pizza Day is a pretty big deal for many people in many schools. They just look forward to that. It's typically one of the more popular menu items. And so, yeah, these kids wanting to go to lunch because it's Pizza Day. Um, there's some realism to that, too, I have to say. But this Mr. Sweeney here would not be able to just keep them in class. If they're supposed to be in lunch, that would be an issue. It's your list for Santa. Yeah. You're not even close. <laughs> but I'll give you all a hint. The answer is in this room. Mm. This is a chance for one of you to be a hero. Hero. So don't waste your time daydreaming. 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 Guess that's what he's going to do. Yep. <laughs> that's quite a daydream. <laughs> it's like James Bond. Oh yeah, that's just that's just perfect. So it's like he's James Bond, 
And then uh, Cookie here is like the tech guy. Every spy show I've ever seen has had some sort of tech person in the background that's helping him with gadgets. I'm guessing uh, that's what this is going to be like. Mosley, you know your mission. The evil Dr. Sweeney is holding the science class hostage with the goofy word puzzle. And only <laughs> you can save them. So they can get some pizza. Got, Got it. it. Can I drive? No. <laughs> hey, he needs to drive in his daydream, I guess. Down the hall. Agent Bigby, look at your wrist. Oh, cool watch too. Because meet me. That was pretty impressive. I don't. That looked like a practical shot. Uh, I'd have to go back to it to have the car going down the hallway or the piece of the set hallway or whatever it was. Um, and the rest of it, they just kind of do with effects. But let's let's see what he does here. Sure, daydream. <laughs> 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 oh man! So in his daydream here, man, Mr. Sweeney is just sadistically pulling the pizza up and down. <laughs> They're like reaching for it. Um, that's just great. So, Agent Bigby. Thinks he can defeat me? Well, we'll see if he can defeat the deadly evil ninjas of death. Ah! Deadly ah! evil ninjas of death. Okay. We've got trouble. I'm on it. Okay, there's the words there. What in the world? Now can I drive? Mm. Why didn't I hire the waterproof deadly ninja? Take a look at this set around him. That must have taken a long time to set up with all of the uh, beakers and the various liquids and having it arranged like that. Somebody did uh, some work here. And then I don't know if you noticed on his screen the water wolf and trap door from Mr. Sweeney's uh, problem here. And I noticed that Mr. Sweeney had to color his hair black or just spray, spray it or something just for this one shot. That's pretty funny. Still... Agent Bigby will never free the class. Ah! He's like a mad scientist. Mr. Bigby, you will never free the class for lunch by daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> and he would never say it like that in real life. It is pretty funny he him saying it like that in the same way that his daydream self is freeing the class. No. I, and again, he wouldn't be able to do this. Another hint. We're hungry. They're going to run out of pizza. All right, fine. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Loomer says they're going to run out of pizza. Uh, let me know if this has ever happened to you guys, but there's some realism there where you're at lunch and the school may run out of a particular item. And then at that point, there's only a, you know, a different item left. Uh, they're going to have a lunch of some sort for all students, but they might run out of something. I've seen that happen before. And then they have to switch to another menu item. And typically that menu item is uh not as good as whatever it is certainly the pizza so yeah loomers uh, right here they might run out of pizza the answer is in this room and it spins it spins okay it spins. Oh, oh, a, a tornado on top my head after one of your lectures uh, no no it's cute it's the earth it spins has water wolves and trap doors that doors Trap doors. But nice try. Yeah, that was pretty good. It does spin. It has water. It does have wolves. Now the trap doors. I get. I mean, I guess uh, there are trap doors, but not in like the natural earth trap doors. I don't think that's what he was going for here. Spins. There they are again. The daydream. Ned, the evil science room is coming up on your left. Evil science room. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this episode is pretty funny, actually. Yeah, there's a neon sign that says evil science room, and it's all dark with the red lights in there, and they're all scared. And You've got bars on the door. That's pretty good. Um, I like whoever put this episode together and did the 
uh, the sets and things did a good job on this one. Evil science room. There's Moses Locker. We're trapped and hungry, and we want pizza. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. It's locked. Cookies. Hack into the school system's internal automated door system and open that door. Internal automated door systems. I'm in. That's interesting. Most schools don't have that. I have actually heard of systems that can do that, where you can control the doors like that remotely. Yeah, that does exist with some of the new school safety systems, but it's not very common at all. But I have seen it for myself. And that door will be open in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> guess not. That didn't go as planned. Now what? What are we going to do now? Even though this is not real. Into that room. Hey, Wanda, I've got an idea. Okay. The fairly odd parents. Hey, my daydream. Now let's go over some of cause. Okay, very good. So the fairly odd parents. Um, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and actually, a lot of you have recommended this show for this channel. And so I do plan to do that. I do... As you all know, I do take every content suggestion. Now, is every content suggestion used? No, it depends on how many viewers recommend it. I typically start with whatever show, movie, or idea has been recommended the most. This one, it does keep coming up, so expect to see it on the channel at some point. But let's see what happens here. So funny that it would show up uh, on an episode of Ned's like this. Osmo's wish suggestions. There's snow cones. Poof into Sweeney's evil science room so you can rescue the Wishes. class so they get some pizza. More snow cones. Uh-oh, he's going to pick snow cones. Let's go with Poof me into the evil science room. Okay, there you go. One middle school daydream wish coming up. Nice. Personally, I would have wished for the answer to the riddle. Yeah, aren't they trapped now too? What are they going to do? Because now they're stuck in here with them also. That wasn't one of the options. Oh, those were just the only cards I brought. You could have wished for anything, Secret Agent Ned. Uh, Good luck, Agent Ned. Yeah, you're going to need it. Well, Agent Bigby, you've come very far. But you'll never set the class free unless you can answer the science puzzler puzzly word game. <laughs> science puzzler puzzly word game. Ned, help. Ned, help. Come on, help. Ned, help. You're just standing there staring at the ground. I guess my melted cheese. Oh, come on. Give us another hint. <laughs> all right. I'll give you all one more hint. The answer is in this room. It spins. And you can easily find it on the web. On the web. So can we use your computer? No. Uh, but you do smell melted cheese. <laughs> That's pretty sadistic there. <laughs> what in the world? Either he's lost his mind, or that's a really fun chair. Ned, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is Sweeney's jammed all web access, so I can't help you. What's the good news? I'm still a cool watch. <laughs> Let them go, Sweeney. They're hungry. They smell melted cheese. And, uh, I've got nose power. What's that? Go get him. You're bigger. What? He's evil. Your Moe's power is nothing compared to my power. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots webs. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, even in a uh, daydream that's not real, he shoots webs. Okay, didn't expect that. No fair. You shoot webs? Hey. It's your daydream. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's his daydream. Can't he do whatever he wants? That's a little weird. There it is. There's the riddle. Web. Wait a minute. That's it. The answer, the answer is in this room. In this room. Then you can easily find it on the web. Mm. On the web. Aha. The spiders, I, the I guess. I know the answer. I know the answer. Oh, this should be good. Those words are together because they're all spiders. Mm. <laughs> Is that it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
How does he do it? My uh. hero. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh man, he messed up there, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens here. Uh, nothing. That was close, Mister Bigby. How did you manage to figure out the puzzle? Daydreaming. Trap me in your evil web powers. It all became clear. Oh, right. Well done. <laughs> Daydreaming is more than taking a field trip in your head. It's a way your brain figures out problems and comes up with solutions. Yeah, generally I agree. Does that happen most of the time? Eh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, but yeah, I can see that coming up with an idea. I mean, daydreaming essentially is thinking, and it depends on what you're thinking about, I guess. But yeah, I could see that putting things together that wouldn't typically go together and then coming up with an idea kind of like he did to solve the riddle. I can see that. There's the pizza. It's how inventors invent. It's how scientists do science. And it's how new ideas are born. True. Yes, That's kind of gross. And sometimes. Oh, no. Daydream's exactly what you need. The pizza. <laughs> Because he has to daydream the pizza. Only life like this. All right, so that's the episode. That was a pretty fun one. And yeah, what he says about daydreams is pretty true. It helped him put together the a little riddle here uh, that Sweeney uh, gave him. Again, he wouldn't be able to keep him from going to lunch. He might get in a little bit of trouble for that. And it is true that pizza is very important when it comes to menu items that are popular. That tends to be one of them. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. That one was a fun one. I enjoyed it. I can't wait uh, for the next one and to continue to go through this series. I think I'm getting toward the end of season one. Can't wait to see how this uh, series evolves as I go through it. But that's it. Um, I'll leave it there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time on School Principal Reacts. Thanks for watching.